there. Wake up, wake up, it's Mother's Day. Hi, this is Pastor George Alvarez of the Emmanuel Baptist Church in Lindsay, California. And I wanna welcome you today to uh, today's message. You know, I was uh, uh, reading all of this week, what am I gonna say, what am I gonna preach to uh, the women, the mothers out there and so I was, I was struck by what I saw in Proverbs chapter 31. And I want us to go over there, uh, Proverbs chapter 31. Here in scripture, there's a lot of wisdom. And, and this is what the word of God says. Her sons rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also praises her. Many women are capable, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord will be praised. Give her the reward of her labor and let her works praise her at the city gates. You know, I was thinking, uh, my daughter was asking, uh, Dad, uh, what are we gonna get our mom? And I got to thinking, well, she's not my mom. Maybe you should get her something. But <laughs> I was totally wrong. I was totally wrong. Uh, you know, here in scripture, it says, and her husband also praises her. I was, oops. So verse 28 says, and her husband also praises her. So let us right now pray and get right into it. Our Heavenly Father, at this moment, I come before you praying for every mother out there. Praying for every child, for every household that Lord, your complete blessing be upon them as they listen to this message and as they digest some of the truths that I will be sharing from your word. In Jesus' name, amen. I wanna share with you two thoughts regarding waking up, it's Mother's Day. Um, whether you have your mother still alive or maybe she already passed away, it is always good to reflect upon who she was, some of the teachings that she gave upon you, some of the good teachings that, that she gave you to become the person that you now are. And um, to those of you who still have your mother, I wanna encourage you to pick up that phone, uh, get that piece of paper and write something up. Let her know that you appreciate her hard labor, that you appreciate uh, the gifts that she's got. So um, have that ready. All right, so the first thought that I wanna share with you based on what uh, Proverbs chapter 31 is that uh, affirm your mother's gifts. Affirm your mother's gifts, all right? So the woman here in the book of Proverbs, um, she's a businesswoman. She's a mother, she's a wife. She can be out in the garden. She can be out there in the city, um, even remembering the poor. She's multitasked. She's a woman or like a, a jack of many trades, but in this, in this case, she's a, not a jack, but a jacqueline of many trades. Uh, that's, that's a type of mom here in, in the book of Proverbs. And, and so that requires Gifts, gifts. What are the gifts of your mother? What is she good at? What she been doing all this time uh, with her hands, with her abilities? And, and just think about it, just think about it um, for a moment that all of those gifts that she has, whether she was born with them or whether she acquired them, uh, she learned them, no matter, she's got some gifts that are worthy for us to affirm them and, and, and express them towards her and say, Mother, thank you very much for all of this that, that you have uh, within you. You know what, Mother? I appreciate this gift that you have. For example, the gift of speaking truth in love. The gift of giving words of wisdom. The gift 
of using her hands. Just the plain gift of being a mother, you know? So she's a multi-talented woman. She's a multi-tasked woman. Uh, that in itself, you know, it's a, it's a gift. And I want us to point out to uh, verse 20 where it takes us back to uh, that gift of giving, you know? Her hands reach out to the poor and she extends her hands to the needy. What a great gift. What a great gift. Um, she's out there. She's in, in her kitchen. She's with the affairs of her children. She's with the affairs of her husband. She's a businesswoman, and, and, but she's also out there in the community helping out. Um, nowadays, we need a lot of that uh, servanthood, uh, a lot of that being the light, being the salt, being the church out there in our communities. Because we are in this time of COVID-19, there have been so many women out there who are mothers and have been an extending hand to those who are in need. Thank you, women, for doing those things. Not only are you taking care of your own, but you're also taking care of somebody else. And that takes strength, that takes a gut, that's honorable, and we praise you for doing that. And so, wake up, it's Mother's Day. So let, 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 me, let me ask you, have you found something worthy of being praised in your mother? Don't look at her faults. Don't look at the negative things that, that, she, that she's got. Because let me tell you, every woman out there has some negative things. Every woman out there has some faults. We are human, they are human. But you see, let us not focus on those stains of life. It's Mother's Day. Let us focus on the positive things that, that she's been about. All of the good gifts that she's got. And praise her for that. Praise her for that. Um, I grew up seeing my mother uh, doing some sewing in, a, in an old uh, singer machine. And she, I could see her, uh, you know, moving her, her, her feet, doing this, this uh, movement in, in her ankle. And that meant she was sewing something. You know, this machine had a belt and, and there it was. You know, she was sewing some, some pants at one time, some curtains and doing other, other things. And just recently, I found out that my mother does not like to sew. But instead, she did that because we needed money. Um, the, the desperate times that we were going through back then, uh, when I was growing up, I was probably maybe three years old, four or five years old, that I remember uh, pretty much all of my young life that I saw my mother sewing and, and you know that brought an extra income and and that was good um, and so I thank my mother I thank my mother for doing that you know that gift of sewing that gift of sewing um, how did she learn that I don't know maybe her mom uh, my grandmother uh, taught her how to do that or she probably just learned it somewhere but the fact is that she used that gift to bring a blessing to our household, thanks to my mother. And, and thanks to that, I also learned how to sew. Mom, if you're out there watching this video, thank you for doing all of those things. Furthermore, uh, scripture here tells us that um, strength and honor are her clothing. Strength and honor are her clothing. You know, she even wakes up like really early in the morning to uh, while it's still dark, to just start the day, you know? Um, she, she doesn't spend the whole day in her pajamas, but instead, you know, she, she wakes up, dresses up, and goes on and, and about her business of being a mom, of being a wife, of taking care of, of her household, uh, to manage uh, everything that involves motherhood. 
And so don't forget to affirm your mother's gifts. And second, don't forget to affirm your mother's hard work. You see, statistics say nowadays that if you graduate with a degree, the chances of you actually working using your degree are not too high. Instead, you probably graduated with a degree in business, uh, but you're probably doing uh, something else to bring income to your household. Uh, you probably studied something, but you're working doing something else. What I'm saying is that affirm your mother's hard work. You see, it doesn't matter what uh, the situations, the scenarios, the circumstances in life uh, bring. She is willing and capable to do just about anything to bring an income to the house. And that's bold and courageous. Thank you, mothers, for doing that. Um, you see, my mother didn't graduate uh, to, to go out to the fields and pick up lettuce, tomatoes, and uh, oranges, lemons, zucchini, but she was willing to do it anyway for the sake of bringing an income, for the sake of feeding us, feeding her young. And, and so, Mom, thank you for waking up very early in the morning and going out to the fields and working. She worked the fields of uh, Salinas, Soledad, uh, California, and, and many others in the, in the Central Valley. She worked the fields in Arizona in the Yuma County, uh, Welton, for example. She would work 12-hour shifts. I mean, there was times then that in our household, we were wondering, where's mom? Where's dad? They were out there working. And I thank my mom for doing that kind of work. So this is just a reminder. Affirm her gifts and affirm her hard work. What is it that your mother has done that can spring up from your lips a good and kind word from you towards her? It says here, her sons rise up and call her blessed. Her husband also praises her. You see, there are times when children don't see the good things that a mother has. Uh, there's, uh, there's times that uh, the children don't, don't even realize that mom has been doing hard work, that mom has some good gifts. But you know what? It is the husband that brings them up uh, to awareness. It is the husband that makes everyone aware that is the children of the blessings of having that mom right there at that moment. So the husband helps out to bring the awareness that the children need so that they can praise their mom. So dad, you have a task. And that is to really look right there. Wow, what a wife. Wow, what a woman. And, and just acknowledge every, every, everything good that she's got, everything good that she does. Acknowledge it in the presence of your children and remind them of every good thing that mom is doing so that they don't forget. I pray that there's a, not a generation where children forget all of the goodness and hard work that mothers have been doing. You know, it breaks my heart when a son, a daughter, slaps mom. When a son or a daughter has to hit their mom for, for some uh, dumb thing. You see, we need more gratefulness coming out of the children towards their mom. More gratefulness, more appreciation, more kind words, more affirming words. And so scripture reminds us just that. Yes, this Mother's Day, doom, 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 wake up. It's Mother's Day. Give her the reward of her labor. Uh, verse 31 says, give her the reward of her labor and let her works praise her. 
She has done many great things. Say it to her. Bring it up. When the time is right, take her for a cup of coffee. When the time is right, take her to Denny's. Take her uh, to a good restaurant. When the time is right, um, you know, take her out somewhere. But not right now. COVID-19, remember? Uh, but we're getting ready to open up, all right? Uh, I want to close with uh, a last thought for all of you mothers out there. But I want to also encourage you moms to um, don't neglect two things. Don't neglect your relationship with the Lord and don't neglect to pray for your children. Two important things. You see, once COVID-19 is over or comes down, everybody's gonna be about their business. Things are gonna be like usual. Everybody's gonna be running here and there. And what about your relationship with God? Please find time to read your Bible and to pray for your own personal upbringing, for your own personal nourishment, your relationship with the Lord. When churches open up, be there. Praise the Lord, learn from the Word, and get inspired and serve the Lord. But also pray for your children. You see, it is your prayers that help children as they move about to the, to, back to school. Um, it is your prayers that help them out to become a great, great kids. One of, one of the things that um, I, I like, that I love from my wife is that every single day, every single day, she, she can't go about her business if not first reading her Bible, doing her devotional. And, and our children see that. You know, our children see mama praying. Our children see mama reading the Bible. And I appreciate that. You see, um, so let us remember, don't neglect your relationship with the Lord. And second, don't forget to pray for your children. All right? We gather as a family to have devotional time. And it is always encouraging uh, for the children to have their parents praying for them. And, and so I want that for you as well. So let us bow in a word of prayer right now. And uh, to all of you children, don't forget, uh, affirm your mother's gifts and her hard labor. And to all of you women out there, don't forget your relationship with the Lord and don't forget to pray for your children. Heavenly Father, at this moment, we come to you giving you thanks for giving us a mother, a loving mother, a caring mother. Thank you for the hard work that they have done. Thank you for the gifts that you have given them as a resource to be great mothers. Thank you, Lord, for being kind to our household in giving us moms. Blessed be your name, Lord, for your faithfulness, for your goodness. And so, Father, I pray for every household right now that, that you bless them. All of those children out there, that they be mindful and that they express words of gratitude, words of, of kindness, words of love towards their mom. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, I pray for those households whose mother is already departing. Lord, bless them with good memories of their mom. And Lord, you comfort and guide them throughout life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Lord bless you. Take care.